Have you ever wanted to create a pivot table that lists out text and maybe even a list of text in the values field instead of just numbers? Well, this show, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that. So let's say you wanted to see a list of every color that each district cells and you can see you know there's repeating districts here so if i wanted to just filter it and you know i can make a manual list but if i wanted to try and use a pivot table to quickly do that i want to show you how so the first thing to do is to create a table out of this list so i'll press Control t to create the table say okay and now we'll come in, I'll insert a pivot table. And the reason that I needed to make that a table before I inserted the pivot table is now I can add this to the data model. And that will allow me to write a little, very simple formula that will let me create this list. So we said that we wanted to see by district all the colors well to just give us a count here right and we can change it to different you know sums and counts and averages we could try to nest it here but then what it does in the rows columns but then it just stacks it up like that but what i want is a list i want to say ann arbor alcatraz comma timeless atlanta cobalt comma magenta etc so i'll take the color out here we'll right click on the table to add measure and i'll call it list of colors and then i'll say equals concatenate X and then it wants to know what table are we looking at and the default name that Excel gave us there was table two and then it wants to know the expression so we're going to pick the field which will be table two color and then I want to put a delimiter in there, which will just be a comma and a space. And I'll put that in quotes, close the parentheses there. That'll be my formula. I'll press okay. Down here, I have this new function. That's what the FX stands for, list of colors. I'll drag that into the values. And now you can see Ann Arbor, Timeless Alcatraz, Atlanta, Cobalt, magenta, etc.